Hello and welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. We're going to continue our journey. I did just go in the settings and I turned motion blur off. I'm not a big fan of motion blur in my video games that I play. I get why they do it. Um, you know, given that sense of motion. But um, it's not really for me. So without further ado, let's get in the game. I saw too there's a music library in here. I guess my uh, copy also came with a soundtrack. So that'd be nice. I envy people who can sit and listen to like video game soundtracks that are just uh, like the stages sounds and things like that. I'm not talking like um, the Tony Hawk's Underground or not Underground Pro Skater soundtracks like those are actual songs from artists i mean the other ones are too <laughs> but they're they're songs that you would find playing on the radio they have lyrics to them and stuff like that whereas like just having like the chip tune sounds to a Mega Man stage and stuff like that being able to uh sit and just listen to those i can do that for a while and then i'm like i need to to listen to some other type of music because this this is just not doing it for me thought it froze there for a moment definitely taking a little longer to to, to load in that's fine as long as it loads in it doesn't crash you know i'm curious if we're actually being manipulated by that keeper the smoke guy if uh they're just leading us on to do his bidding in eliminating people. Oh, something I wanted to do too is I wanted to travel. Oh, that's where the one brewmaster guy is. Because there's other ways that we didn't go. And I want to check. Check them out. See if there's like things that I missed. Because like when we went over the bridge. There was uh, after the bow guy on the left side. A little path somewhere to go. So I'm curious about that. Over here. This side. We didn't go down here. Ooh, a boss battle. I go here. Hello. You're such a hold. Sito, for all fangs, ya good ba. Yet, for what she did, poor ba. Fangsy. Do you do?
we defeated him. Kind of a dramatic spin there at the end. Ooh. Pick that up. Oh, is this a new weapon for us? It is! Oh, it's spells. Red tides. As the feral flurry intensifies, with each fierce thrust, the flame do rise, transform into a wolf guy, and inflict scorch bane on the enemy with each attack. Nice. Weapons and valuables cherished by your guys often carry lingering obsessions from their deceased owners. Collecting them grants the ability to briefly take on their forms in combat. Each transformation has its own strength, making them worth experimenting with. Transformations continuously consume might and require a full gauge to initiate. Using spells during a transformation further depletes might, and once it's fully depleted, a detransformation occurs automatically. Subsequently, <laughs> subsequently, might will gradually recover. And look, there's that other bell. I was wondering if I missed one or not. Turns out I did. And it was over here. Ring the bell. That's the third. So what does that mean exactly? Oh. oh. Where is that? Enduring echoes, three bells sound, lost souls bound. Ooh. Am I going directly to it? We are. Ancient Guanyin Temple. Have I not been here before? Is the wolf guy back again? Yeah, that's what this place is. Uh, looks like we are already full. Uh, I don't think we need to craft anything. No weapons, that's right. This one. We now have enough uh, will to craft it. So let's. Ooh. A good match calls for a good weapon. Confirm. This wasn't here before. What's inside? Gwen's prayer beads. Something that goes on the arms. What's this? Here it's chanting. Stone Spirit 2. Oh, it's another one here. What's in this? Yarn. Let's see what they do. Unique effect after absorbing the Lingering will moderately increase maximum health and mana for a long duration. That's cool. I lose my running ability, but I kind of think it's okay if I do. And then there's this. Flick considerably more damage bonus on enemies at critical health. Or on enemies at critical health. Tempting. Let's go prayer beads and add that. Just keep with the thing for increasing my sprint see what lies behind this door oh a big head <laughs> elder jinchi oh Oh, 
Oh hey, you got zombies. I fought someone like you once. Oh, I got rid of my snakes. Dodging too early, I need to do my dodge right as he attacks. Oh look, a new boss to fight. But it almost kind of seems like a reskin of uh, the wandering one that we fought. Owie. Not timing my dodges very well. Yeah, there's that move. Oh. Supposed to dodge to the left and we dodge backwards. Stamina. Ooh. Ooh. What's he doing? What is he doing right now? Chanting. Chanting. What does this chanting do? Yeah. Ran out of stamina. Oh, it's healing him. That's not good. No, don't need him. Oh, 
to dodge in time. having her dodge properly got him down a lot more that transformation is pretty sweet I dodged out of that pretty well. Guess not. to stop him from doing this, I don't think you can. That's happening. Ooh, ooh, they all got me, I got surrounded. That sucks. They were doing so good. Found a way to handle his little healing thing.
Gotta stay around him and knock out all the followers before they reach him. in such quick succession just could not dodge out of the way in time again off to timing my dodges got to get them right I think at this point maybe I should do a little equipment change since we're not really using the running ability as often as I thought I might that and do this oh can we self advance we can, we got one. Could add it to the transformation. Each talent level slightly reduces the might decay while transformed. And each talent level slightly increases might recovery speed. Let's do that. I do still have these spells too, which I haven't really been using as much. Yep. 
Yeah, they hit my snakes. Doing the recovery thing. That's a far jump. We did it! Temple of Taint, now at the end of the Elder's long wait for the journey. no idea what that was all about but we rang all three bells we got a little secret boss battle he tossed us around a bit but we got him in the end using all the different abilities that we have and it was not easy that guy definitely did put up a fight but we got him in the end and now we're back like some kind of hangover but I think this is a perfect stopping point for this video and then we can just you know pick up with another video next week because that's kind of how I've been doing this uh, on a weekly basis I figure you you'd understand this by now I don't know why I'm explaining it to you anyways that is gonna do it for me thank you all for watching 
and I'll see you in the next game of Black Myth Wukong. Goodbye.